In this product review and installation video, we're going to be talking about a product called the AR Maglock. It is a product specifically for people who live in AR-15 restricted states such as California and New York. The new laws passed in California uh, state that if you p possess a detachable magazine firearm, you own what's classified as an assault weapon. If you own this weapon between 1-1 of 2001 and 12-31 of 2016, you must register it as an assault weapon. Unless, of course, you convert it to a fixed magazine via use of an AR maglock such as this. If you do not, it will be a criminal offense punishable by law. So what this does is it renders your AR-15 or AR-10 into a fixed magazine firearm, thus complying with the state laws. This runs for, uh, has a street price of $54.95. And the locations where this is applicable, applicable, as far as I know, are California, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Maryland, Illinois, Massachusetts, and Hawaii. So what do we get for $54.95? Well, we get this nice little packaging here, uh, which I've already opened. Uh, on the back um, of this packaging, um, there is discussion about the California laws and yeah, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, kind of more or less touches on what we just talked about. Uh, if we open this up, you've got some very detailed instructions here on how to install it. Um, uh, which I won't go over because we're actually going to install it. So in the bag we've got um, our backing plate and a hex bolt. We have the actual maglock product. We have the spring for the product. This is a split ring like a key ring. And this is a rear takedown pin, which they include. It's not necessary that you install this. That's an optional item. And a uh, Allen wrench. Okay, um, so let's get all of our items out. And we can see our backing plate right here uh, has a recess in it. for the bolt and the bolt is going to bolt on to the actual maglock product like so and I do believe that uh, for the installation of this product let's see they do talk about applying uh, red Loctite to the threads of the cap screw and I do believe they also talk about drilling out the cap screw with a 1 8 inch drill bit. That makes it a permanently installed item that cannot be removed. Now we're not going to do this during uh, our installation because I don't live in a state that requires this product. So I'm going to show you how uh, to install this. If your state requires that this type of device be permanently installed, you would follow the instructions that uh, ship with this uh, to use the red Loctite and uh, drill out the hex bolt so it's a permanent installation. Um, as for the quality of the product that I can see so far, um, these are made from a lightweight aluminum that I can uh, uh, can tell uh, they're very nicely finished in a matte black. The uh, takedown pin, now the reason they include the takedown pin is you can see the takedown pin has got a much larger head on it and it also uh, has a hole so if you are so inclined you could put this split ring key ring through here or you could put some paracord through there and make your own little pull. This is basically just to make it easier for you to break apart the action so you can change your magazine. Uh, again, that's not a requirement that you install this item. I'm not going to install this on this particular rifle, uh, but you would follow the standard procedure for installing um, any AR-15 takedown pin uh, onto your rifle. Other, other, other than the large head and the hole in it, it's exactly the same as any other takedown pin. 
So let's go ahead and, and um, uh, since we've taken a look at this, let's move forward and go ahead and get this installed and see exactly how it works. Okay, moving on, we have a uh, lower receiver here. Um, this particular lower receiver has a standard magazine release, and I'm going to show you how to remove that. If you have a uh, bullet button, you will have to follow the instructions included with your bullet button to uh, properly remove that. Um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to push in on this with one hand, um, flip the lower receiver over. Uh, we're going to pull up and basically unscrew this. And we're pulling up on it so um, uh, it clears the bolt release here. And once we get it unscrewed, it'll come out. Still holding the button down because it has under spring tension. And we're going to remove the magazine release button and the spring. So that's all there is to removing the stock magazine release. Our AR mag lock, we're going to use um, the spring that comes with it. And we're going to install this assembly with the spring through this side and of course with the spring there's going to be some tension on that so we're going to have to hold that down with our finger and flip the lower receiver over and we're going to hold it down so this is up all the way and we're going to install this backing plate um, you can see there's two sides to the backing plate we're going to install the smooth side with the recess hole right there that's going to go on top and we're going to drop our screw in. Now again if you're following the instructions and you need a permanent installation you would apply some red Loctite to this bolt before you uh, install it. And I'm just going to tighten that down. You don't need to put a lot of torque on that. And make sure you test the functionality. You can see that this is working as it's supposed to. So let's test a magazine in it and make sure that uh, the magazine locks into place and uh, drops out. Okay, I have a uh, empty magazine here. Let's uh, make sure that this locks into place. And it does. Let's test. Uh, the button and it drops free. Can't see that on screen. Sorry about that. You can see it works exactly as it should. So uh, at this point in time what we're going to do is we're going to um, test fit an upper on this and confirm that with when the upper is in place the magazine is not removable. Uh, and that's that will uh, take care of the installation of the uh, AR Maglock. Okay, I have the uh, upper installed on the lower and you can see with the upper installed this magazine, uh, the AR Maglock will not function. And if we insert a magazine, locks into place and we cannot eject it. So the only way to eject the magazine at this juncture is to pop our takedown pin and of course, if you're going to be doing this quite often, you might want to install the larger takedown pin. We're going to pop our rear takedown pin. We're going to pivot the action forward like so. And we can press down on the magazine release. And of course, our magazine would then drop free. Of course, I'm lying, it's lying flat, so it's not going to drop free in this situation. Um, and that's uh, that's basically it. So that's that completes the installation of the AR maglock and the testing of the functionality um, with magazine.